And what I have on here, this is what they call the, um, I don't know if you can see it really close. It's called the Hella Command. Okay? It's me. on the inside. This is one version. There's a se several version people come that makes them. Uh, I'm using this one actually from Germany called the Hella Command. It actually controls this, this rotor head in flight. For this rotor head is not very stable because of the four blades. And what happens when the Hella Command sends input on a, the, the, the uh, movement, it gives it the opposite reaction to keep the blades level. There's also there's another. How, how expensive is that? This right now, when I first bought this about a year ago, it was about three hundred and forty-five dollars. Right now, it's about four hundred ninety-nine dollars, about five hundred bucks. See, so it went up, huh? Went up. Well, the people have got nicer off, and it works nice. Price will go up. This and, and using because using multi uh, multi blades. That's why using it though, isn't that right? Right, multi blade head or five ballers head. It's mainly for five ball. You can have a two blade head, five ballers. Doesn't have a fly bar, you need something to actually help you stabilize that rotor head. You go with the six blades or seven blades with this one. This, this one has four blades. Um, it just makes it a lot easier to fly. Actually, you need a, you're going to need a laptop. I'll demonstrate later on. You need a laptop to actually program it. This is what they call a, a shukum. I bought this about a couple weeks ago. So it's different variation of this one is made by robotics. Um, I really like this one here. It's really nice. Um, plug and play. You pretty much hook it up to your laptop. And plug and play, and it's self-explanatory. You run through a uh, wizard program to set it up. Um, reason I chose not to use this particular one here because this was very, it's more for the high volt servo, you no know, eight point seven point. I'm using four point eight servo, and the Hell Command is really uh, designed for the turbine helicopter. They kind of centered around it, so I decided to go with the uh, Hell Command. Still a good product, not knocking it. It's very nice. I'll use it later on on another, another project. Okay. I'm just trying to show you uh, basically some shortcuts and then right. I have a nice flying helicopter machine. Nice right. and, and I'm a scale flyer, I like nice level scale where I can take my hands off the control and it should sit there by itself. Okay, now let's say we have the servos in, we got all a pitch pitch linkage hook up at the right pitch. Right here is a fairly critical point. This is what they call a follower. Swatch cape follower, okay? But this does this keep the, the, the pitch arm in position while the blade is turning. Right. Okay. And one of the things here that you, very important that you need to realize from the bottom of the swatch plate, okay, to the top of the the ring here, it must be between 12 and 18 centimeters. Okay. So what you normally what you want to do, you're gonna get your measurement, a tape, whether it's you know you use a paper or use the metal one, measure from the bottom of the swatch plate into the bottom of the uh, swatch plate. I think I'm, I have about 17 millimeters, which is a good starting point. Okay, that's where you want it to sit because if you doesn't have it in the right position, this can actually jam this whole rotor system and lock it out and fly. You don't want that. That'd be very bad news. So you want good range, good movement between this bottom of the swatch plate to the top of the, the follower. Okay. Huh. Okay. And that half stick when this blade is when these is a half stick. It should be 15, 15 centimeters between the bottom and the, and the center, the bottom of the swatch plate. A uh, barrier, what they use, they, use, they make a, what they call a swatch plate jig. This is actually right. 13 centimeters. You can actually buy one of these things about 30 bucks. You can put it underneath here and bring the swatch plate down. That's zero, that's zero right there? That would be zero if, you, if you're doing 3D flying. Zero right. or, you, or you could use half stick pitch. At this plate, this, at this position, the helicopter is, is sent to a hover. Right. Okay. Now you can actually check your pitch range. This should be the the manufacturer should be with the four blade. You need four percent of blade pitch, positive pitch in the hover. So you can check each blade. Make sure they have four four degrees center pitch. Now, what I found out by doing this a lot, if you put a blade on here, if you buy four blades from a factory, whatever manufacturer you use, they usually come tape two together. When you get those blades, number them one and two. One would be here, and the other blade would be here. Make sure you keep them in sequence because they use the weighty blades within thousand of a, 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 a tolerance, you know. So, how them blades when you unpack them? Just don't unpack them right away. Look at them, mark them carefully. So, one. What what happens if you don't? I mean, what happens? Do you get vibration? You get vibration. Uh, you could get have problem with the pitch range because the weight is different. Okay. 
So when it, they compact, if you get four blades, three blades. So wait a minute, are you telling me uh, all four blades have different weights in all four of them? They can't, it's hard to get each one exactly the same way. With the, I, it doesn't take much to throw them off. That's why when you, when you buy four blades, make sure when you unpack them, that you look are wrapped. Two are you wrapped, like this one came four blades. Two of them was already wrapped together. Those, those two blades should mirror across each other. Okay. So what I did, I marked one and two. So two. I know one go here, one go the opposite side of the okay, other. Okay, and three and four. And three and four the opposite side of each other. What if you what, what if you have seven blades? Seven blades. Well, you, it's still gonna wrap them. You're gonna have. Uh, you, they're gonna match. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, and you're gonna have one odd one. But you could you just deal them with the one odd one. You just compensate with in the pitch one. Right. So the last one is okay. Right. Okay. Um, and once you do that, you're pretty much gonna have your pitch range uh, pretty much set in the blade. You might do a little field tracking at the field, but you're gonna be really, really close to where it's one or two turns at the most, okay? 